I think this is a really important week for our team. Um, last week was disappointing. I think even though we were able to split the, the weekend and get one win, uh, I think everybody in our program right now is disappointed with our performance over those two games. Um, so I think uh, for us coming into these games, being on the road, being in Florida, uh, it's going to be very important for us to get back to playing Charlotte 49er basketball. And uh, you know, yesterday we had a very long team meeting. In fact, we never even made it to the practice court. Uh, I used my entire time uh, meeting with my team and just making sure we're on the same page because uh, this isn't an excuse at all, but our program has never been in first place before, right? And so that's a great thing, but it's, it's different and things change and you're going to see everybody's best punch now. And uh, what got us to first place has to keep us there. And I thought that Last week, we lost that mentality. All year long, we played with an incredible chip on our shoulder to prove ourselves and to prove to ourselves and I think to people outside the program that we're a really good team. And then last week, we didn't play with that. And so we have to find ourselves again. I thought our team meeting yesterday was very, very productive in terms of what we want to be moving forward in the five, six weeks we have left that are guaranteed. And um, I'm excited to get on the practice court today and and see the team that I've coached most of the year be back. Well, I think um, everybody is disappointed in particular about Saturday's performance, but I, you have to have a balance in that we've obviously had a great year and um, that one loss shouldn't change that. We still have the potential to finish very, very well. And um, you know, the, I think the biggest thing on Saturday was just our lack of effort, in my opinion, in the way that we played. I can take losing basketball games um, if we play how we're, we should in terms of our effort. And I think everybody was disappointed by that. And, but, you know, uh, understanding that that doesn't mean we're not the team that we've been all year and we have to get back to that. And I think our meeting yesterday had a really good balance of me being hard on them, um, them being hard on themselves and understanding what happened Saturday wasn't acceptable. And then also being optimistic about how we can finish and what we can do moving forward. Um, if we continue to stay on the same page. Right, we have to. Uh, like you said, there's, we have six weeks guaranteed, five regular season and one conference game, tournament game. Uh, and, and we know that, we talked about that yesterday, and that's all that's guaranteed to us. And you know, what type of, uh, you know, how do we want to finish? I mean, obviously we've had a great year, but it's not so much about how you start, but how you finish. And um, I think the best players and the best teams are able to, learn from games like we had on Saturday, but at the same time have a really short memory because we don't need to dwell on that. I mean, you look at our team and over the course of uh, 20 games, that's the only game. We lost other games, but that is the only game where we had extremely poor effort, extremely poor execution in terms of the game plan and what we should be doing, right? So you're talking about one out of 20. We can't dwell on that. That's, that's, that should be the rarity. That should not be who we are. And it's not who we are, and we know that. And so in some ways, we need to have a really short memory and get back to who we are. Right, we uh, showed a lot of film on that yesterday in our film session. And uh, in fact, if you watched how we played both Thursday and Saturday and compared it to how we played in the non-conference early, we looked the same, which is extremely concerning. Before we had our chemistry and um, you know, we didn't move the ball well, we over dribbled, we took a lot of highly contested shots. Um, we had players that just kind of lost sight of what their role is because you know, our offense is very, very simple, right? But it relies on discipline and it relies on people playing their roles. And we did not do that last week for whatever reason. I don't know why, I don't need to know why. What I need to know is how we're gonna get back to that. And part of what we met about yesterday is just refreshing everybody on what your role is, what you should be doing, how we are a good basketball team and why we are a good basketball team. Um, and moving the ball and sharing the ball. Uh, not w one person doesn't have to make a hero shot for us. That's not, we're not good when we do that, but we're very good when we move the ball side to side. So uh, we need to spend more time in practice. Um, you know, we've been playing so well offensively that we spent a lot of time on defense, a lot of time on scout preparation, and probably haven't done a good job as coaches on just keeping our offense fresh. And I thought you could see that. So we'll definitely get back to uh, training the way that we need to to have great offense hopefully this week. Right, um, they're a little bit different. They're young, um, which 
um, you know, makes them different than years past. They have always run a motion that's really difficult to guard. And when you have young players in that type of motion, they're not quite, um, they don't quite make the reads that they've made in the past. Um, and they're not shooting the ball as well as they have in the past. But they do some things differently. They have some kids that are really doing a great job getting to the rim. They have some mismatches in terms of some of their post players who can shoot the three and, and post up. And, um, and you know, I haven't, I've also reminded my team the last time we went there, we lost. It was a game where we did not play well. Um, and they, they play very well at home. So uh, obviously we can't take anything for granted. Uh, we have to go down there ready to play. And uh, we should be ready to play based off how we all feel about what happened last week. Uh, I think as a coach, for me, it, it doesn't change anything. Um, so that maybe makes me a little bit more anxious about how my team is going to handle it. And I think just continuing to give those messages and making sure that we understand what's um, what's at stake, what's coming for us, you know, what, how teams are going to approach us. I think I have to continue just to give those messages over and over again to, to help our team grow and learn and understand. Um, you know, we even talked yesterday in our team meeting, you know, in my team right now, I have two players that have ever won a championship. Two out of 11, that's not very many, right? And so again, just getting them to understand the mentality of what it takes to be a championship team. Like that's, I think, the only difference I would say in things that you know, I need to be preaching and talking about. But our approach won't change. Um, and I think you know, we have always been focused on the process and not on the outcome and not on the results. And if we can take care of the process every day, th those will come. And so that won't change, as all, change at all. Uh, we just got to be focused on who we, we need to be every day.